Hello, today I have the Witch's Moon box for September. I'm super excited because it took forever to get here and it's the first box of fall. I apologize if you can hear the mowers outside my window. Hopefully it's not very loud. I really want to open this before I have to go to work, so. <clears throat> okay, so. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm a little scared because something in here sounds broken. So I hope that's not the case. Um, Siren of Spirits. So this looks like a spirit calling spell. Super pretty. I like that it's small. Book of Shadow size. Okay. And then this says Witch's Bell. Oh, okay, so maybe it's just a bell. Maybe there's not um, anything broken. That's good. Um, this is cool. Sound the bell twice to hear the guide's advice. Chime the bell thrice to see the oracle's sight. Toll the bell seven to set the summoner's session. Uh, ring the bell nine to bind the exorcist right. Oh my god, that's so cool. I love that. You can see me. Oops. Okay, so I'll put those right here. This is what the box looks like. Oh, there's a big box. Oh, and it's nice. Okay, I won't do that yet. <laughs> Okay, so I'll do the oracle card first. It's a super pretty light galaxy. And I have number 36. Um, I connect to oneness and expand my awareness. That's a pretty deck. Awesome, okay. And then here's the contents. <clears throat> I'm not going to read what's in here yet, but I will get the theme, which is the witch's call. Um, there are moments that exist throughout each day where we demand control, call upon guides, and cast out negative or unwanted energies. These practices are so vital during times of overabsorption, chaos, and polarization. Our dedication to the craft provides us with the unique opportunity to maintain and regulate the energies that are allowed to enter our sacred spaces and ritual areas. Within this power, we are the creators and the destroyers, choosing our own path and connecting with its purpose on a more intimate and meaningful level. In this very special collection, we provide tools that are unique in their ability to aid and empower us during ritual. Um, this one-of-a-kind box has been in the process of creation for many moons and is exclusive to the subscribers of the Witch's Moon. Okay, cool. I'll read that at the end. This is what it looks like on the inside, but I'm gonna move it over here so that I can display everything. herbs first. We have angelica root. We have flaxseed. And feverfew. I don't have any of this, so that's cool. And then I guess we will go for the candle first. And it is a black candle. Yay. This wrapping is impossible. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this better. Off camera, maybe. Oh, okay, I got it. Just a black candle, but it's really long. So that's good. Oh, it kind of has a smell. 
Maybe I'm making it up. I don't know. <clears throat> and then we have the incense sticks. I like when they come in a labeled bag because it's easier for me to keep them separate. Um, Concordia. Give these a smell. Those smell good. Kind of floral and fresh. And then we have what looks like it's gonna be an oil. And this I don't, I don't know what that's like. Aegis? Aegis? Anointing oil? It has herbs in there. I smell it. That one smells good. I, I obviously don't know what it smells like, but... <laughs> It smells really good. It's kind of got like a like a sweet but spicy scent. If that makes any sense. Okay. And then ooh, this is a nice jar. It has like the top. Pulse of Peace Sacred Salts. I'll get better at placing scents one day. But that I have no idea. I never have any idea, but it smells good. I don't even know how to describe that smell, so I'm just not even gonna try. And then we have a black pouch with a stone. Okay, I got one of these in the last um, Midnight Muses box. It's actually right here. <laughs> that's funny. Um, but that's okay, because I like these. Um, they're really good. Why is the name escaping me? It's not hematite. Is it hematite? I don't know. I can't think this morning, but I like these because they're nice and heavy and they're meant to be grounding stones anyway, so I like to kind of hold them and feel the weight of them. Um, so I don't mind having another one. I can have one for home and one for travel now. That's good. And then... I think this is the last item, and it's in this big black box, which I'm going to keep because this is awesome. Whoa! This is crazy. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh my god, that's awesome. So, nothing's broken, that's good. I was just hearing the, uh, the bell, but it's like bronze, copper, and then it's got like, I don't know, talons? <laughs> that's really cool. It's big. I wasn't expecting it to be so big. That is awesome. Okay. Alright, so 
So let me just read about what we got. So this is the Custom Handmade Pentacle Witch's Bell. And it says that the ringing of bells dates back almost 4,000 years. Um, communicating messages over long distance and symbolizing power and status. Um, a very programmable tool. The witch's bell is used to clear away negative energies by demanding that the space around you be pure and relevant to your intentions. The ringing of the bell can also call upon angels, spirit guides, ethereal energies, and other entities that you may wish to assist you in your work. Um, most importantly, the witch's bell is your tool to communicate a message and exclaim your true purpose. Um, to those that may be seen on the physical realm or within the hidden realms that exist around you. Sitting atop the handle of this bell is the representation of the great talons providing reassurance of safe passage as well as symbolizing the achievement of success through your intentional workings. Awesome. I love this. This is so cool and I'm really glad it's not broken. Okay, and then we have um, Book of Shadows artwork, Power and Protection spell candle. Um, Aegis, Aegis Magical Anointing Oil. Um, we have created this oil with the intention of providing you with a token of strength, courage, and protection protection as you travel into spiritual realms which is perfect for fall divination <laughs> um let me see what is in it frankincense myrrh and sandalwood oils we have included clover ground sage and lavender buds and hyssop as well um, inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness with your aura. Awesome. The base of this oil is sunflower oil. I want to put a little bit of it on. Oh yeah, that smells really good. Awesome. And then, so, oh, it is hematite. See, I need to trust myself a little bit more. Um, hematite tumbled stone to facilitate a union between you and your spirit guides. Um, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to charge my other one to be like a home meditation grounding stone. And then I can charge this one to be like a on the go portable grounding keep in your pocket sort of thing that's exciting um pulse of peace sacred salts this salt was created with the intention of aligning yourself with the energies of peace and tranquility before ritual work as you sit with these natural energies practice letting go of your worldly problems and focusing on the very simple beat of your heart um and it is made with Cedarwood and chamomile oils, as well as clover, chamomile, and plantain herbs. Okay. The Concordia Ritual Incense Sticks. Feverfew, Angelica Root, Flaxseed, Personalized Oracle Reading. And then, as always, they include like a blank piece of parchment paper, which is always handy. All right, this is the September box for the Witch's Moon. I'm really happy with it. There wasn't as much stuff in it, but probably just because this is like a big ticket item, so I'm not mad about that at all. And I'm really excited to work with the, the bell and this, um, this Book of Shadows artwork. It's really nice. Um... And I'm excited to have another one of these. 
and these are always helpful. <laughs> okay, so I'm super excited for what the October box is going to be because this is already spooky and fall and wonderful. Okay, thanks for watching.